Now, in general, the number of isolated points of a subspace is not the same as the number of isolated points of the ambient space For example, the real line has no isolated points but the subspace Y which is the union of the half open interval from 0 to 1 together with the singleton containing 2 has one isolated point. However, if Y is a subspace of a space X and a point X in the subset Y is an isolated point of the ambient space X then this point is an isolated point of the subspace Y. And this is uh, trivial to prove. So proof as the point X in the subset Y is an isolated point of the space X. The singleton containing that point is open in the space X. And so the intersection of the singleton with the uh, set Y is the singleton containing the point X, and this is open in the subspace Y. And hence the point X is an isolated point of the subspace Y. Okay, so now we'll consider separation conditions and the, we'll prove a theorem. Subspaces of a Hausdorff space are themselves Hausdorff. Proof. Let Y be a subspace of a Hausdorff space which we'll call X and let X and Y be two points in the subspace Y such that X is not equal to Y, that is uh, two distinct points in the subspace Y. Then as the space X is Hausdorff, there exist open neighborhoods
u of the point x and v of the point y in the ambient space x such that the intersection of u and v is empty. And so the intersection of the set u with the set y is an open neighborhood of the point x in the subspace y and the intersection of the set V with Y is an open neighborhood of the point Y and the space Y such that the intersection of these neighborhoods, that is the intersection of U and Y intersected with the intersection of V and Y, which is the same as the intersection of U and V intersected with Y, which is the empty set intersected with Y, and so is the empty set, and hence the subspace Y is itself Hausdorff. So as an exercise, let y be a subspace of a space x. Prove that if the ambient space x is T1, or Frechet, Then the subspace Y is also T1, or Frechet. And if the ambient space is T0, or Komolgorov, then the subspace Y is T0 or Kamal Garoth. Okay, so now let's consider accountability conditions. So as a theorem, we'll prove that a subspace of a second countable space is also second countable so proof let y be a subspace of a second countable space which we will call x. Then there exists a countable basis script B for the topology on the set x. And so the collection script B sub y, consisting of the intersections of y with the elements B, where B is in the basis for the topology on x, is a countable basis for the subspace topology on y.
and hence the subspace y is second countable. So as an exercise, prove that a subspace of a first countable space is itself first countable now in general a subspace of a separable space need not be separable however every open subspace of a separable space is separable. And we'll prove this as a theorem. Let Y be an open subspace of a separable space x that is y is a subspace of x where the set y is open in the space x then the subspace y is separable So proof as the ambient space X is separable there exists a countable dense subset which we'll call D of X So every non-empty open set in the ambient space intersects the subset D as it is dense. Now as the subset Y is open in the space X, this subspace Y intersects D. Further, every open set in the subspace Y is open in the ambient space X. So for every open set V in the subspace Y, we have that V intersected with the intersection of Y and D is the same as the intersection of V and Y intersected with D. Now as V is a subset of Y, we have that this is equal to the intersection of V with D where again V is an open set in the ambient space X and therefore this intersection is not empty that is the intersection of Y and D is dense 
in the subspace Y. Further, this intersection is countable or a countable subset. of the space Y, since the set D is countable, and so the intersection can only contain a countable number of elements. And thus, the intersection of Y and D is a countable, dense subset of the subspace Y, and hence the subspace Y is separable. Okay, so we'll shift gears for a moment uh, and consider functions. So let f be a function from x into y. Let the set a be a subset of the domain x. And let b be a subset of the codomain y. Recall that the direct image of the set A is the set of all elements f of x in the codomain y such that x is an element in the set A. So a point y is in the direct image of the set A if and only if there exists an element x in the set A such that y is equal to f of x and recall that the inverse image of the set B under the map f is the set of all those elements x in the domain such that f of x is in an element in the set B And so a point x is in the inverse image of the set B, if and only if f of x is an element in the set B. That is, if and only if the uh, function f maps that element into the set B.